Hey all, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's solve the question is on K map with the max terms given here. Simplify the following expression using K map. Implement the simplified expression using basic gates only. A function ABCD is pi m 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 12, 13 plus dc of 8 comma 10. Here pi m indicating the values given are max terms and dc indicating 8 and 10 are don't care terms. Let us solve this question. First we need to write the k map. A 4 variable k map is required here since f of a, b, c, d has 4 variables. Let me take a, b, c, d like this, a, b vertically and c, d values horizontally. So if you put those values, it is a, b, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 like this. Similarly, c, d like this. Now, we need to place the values for all these groups. The group values are 0, 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 12, 13, 14, 15, here 8, 9, 10 and 11. Now we need to put zeros for all the max term values they have given in the function. So we have 0 over here and then we have 2 and then we have 3, we have 4, then 5, then 12 and then 13. These are filled with zeros since it is pi m, it is indicating max terms plus dc of 8 comma 10 is there. So I put don't care that is x to 8 and 10 is also x. Now we need to start grouping. How the grouping should be? We need to look for 4 adjacent zeros with don't care terms we can consider. Otherwise if 4 group is not possible we need to make a 2 variable group. Now this is one group. Here we have 4 adjacent zeros, we can make one group and you can see at the corners we have 2 zeros here and don't care terms here. We can make use of don't care terms here and group a 4 variable group. We can create a 4 variable group like this. And we have one more zero left, there is an adjacent zero here. There is no possibility of creating a 4 variable group for this zero. So we need to create a one more group with the adjacent 0, a 2 variable group. Now for the blue group which I have created just now, it gives you the output A, you can see here, this is AB 0 0, it means when we are taking max terms into account, it gives A plus B. And similarly if you look at horizontally, this C is remaining and D is having 1 0, D get cancelled. So plus C bar. Similarly, let's go, go for the next group. This group give you B bar plus C. Here vertically A get cancelled. B is 1. If B is 1, we need to write it as B bar when we are operating with max terms. Similarly, horizontally C, D is there. Here if you look at these two, here D get cancelled. C will be 0, 0. So if C is 0 means we need to take plus C. Then comes the outer group. Here we have vertically 0, 0, 1, 0. It means A get cancelled. B is 0. B 0 means we need to take it as B. Plus horizontally if you see this is 0, 0, 1, 0. C get cancelled and D is 0 and 0. 0 means we need to take D itself. Now we need to put all this together in a product of some form. This is POS expression. This is the expression we got after simplifying the given function. Now the question says implement the simplified function using basic gates only. We need to use only basic gates to implement the obtained function. Here what are all the gates required? We have four variables A, B, C, D and C bar, B bar can be generated using NOT gates. Basic gates are NOT gate, AND gate and R gate. We need to use only these three gates. So to generate C bar and B bar we can use NOT gates and A plus B plus C can be done using one 3 input R gate and B bar C can be done using 2 input R gate. Here B plus D can be implemented using 2 input R gate. 
once the three r gates are ready the output of those can be given to a single and gate that and gate will take these three inputs let us try to implement this using basic gates now here is the expression first we need to have a b c and we need to generate c bar here it is the output of an art gate indicating c bar now because of the plus operator over here in between these we need to use a r gate and then we have b bar this is b and this not gate generates b bar and plus c we need to do one more r gate we need to put over here and then the last expression is b plus d for b plus d we need to take b and d put one r gate that gives you b plus d and the second r gate gives you b bar plus c the first r gate gives you a plus b plus c bar now taking all those outputs together putting one and gate this gate gives the final output f f is equal to a plus b plus c bar into b bar plus c into b plus d this is how we can simplify the given max term function and using k map then obtaining the final expression to implement it using basic gates if the question is to implement using nand gates here in place of and r and not gates we can replace that by nand gates and we need to check the functionality whether it is correct this is how we need to solve these kind of questions if they give the function and ask us to implement using gates thank you